everybody. How's it going? Mike Morello back again with another unboxing for you. Um, I'm here for Renovision and CBSI to do a Ahsoka Tano one and or one half scale uh, Ahsoka bust. This technically doesn't come out for a few days, but I got my hands on one a little early. My shop got their shipment in a little on the early side, so I managed to get my hands on it. Um, a few days before I was supposed to. So anyway, this one looks really gorgeous. Um, I know you're probably thinking to yourself, does this guy only unbox statues and only statues of Ahsoka? Yes, because I have a disease and that disease is a ridiculous fandom for Ahsoka Tano. So basically I spend my money on these things when I probably shouldn't. But um, anyway, this way you'll get to see what it looks like inside the box before you decide whether you wanna get one or not. Um, if it looks anything like the picture on the box, then we're all in for a nice treat. But here's the box. Um, this is the sort of upper end scale boxing rather than the little window boxing that they've been doing because this is the Legends line. Um, these half scale or one and two scale ones are basically like that where the boxes themselves are actually numbered, as you can see there. Uh, so this one is seemingly number 159 of 1,000. The number is a little bit obscured for whatever reason, but I think it's 159 of 1,000. So it's a low number. Not that that matters. I don't know why anyone really cares about that stuff. But um, what's also nice about these is they do not tape the boxes shut. So you don't have to worry about all the tape and stuff, which is really nice. actually. And then, as always, when you open it up, you get your basic uh, Gentle Giant stuff. You get their little catalog that it always seems to come with. And then you get the limitation card, which uh, which is... A little bit better in these it's not just like a little trading card it's actually like a like a postcard size thing and again that's numbered and it should match the box uh yes 159 and then i'm assuming that the base will also be numbered as well because they usually are so anyway let's let's jump into this one um the box itself as i showed you numbered on the back with a little bit of a blurb um just about ahsoka in general and then about the the statue as well in general ahsoka tano uh, a Tegruta female was the Padawan learner to Anakin Skywalker and a hero to the Clone Wars. Alongside Anakin, she grew from headstrong student into a mature leader. But her destiny laid along a different path than the Jedi. Um, that's a nice way to put it, huh? Headstrong learner. Uh, annoying snips, really, is what it is. But anyway, um, this is nice in that the styrofoam actually kind of has handles on it this time. I don't know if you can see that, but... Um, to get it out of the box nice and easy. So you can just slide it on out. They don't always have that, so that's kind of nice. Nothing else in the box, but a very nice box, if that matters to you. It matters to me a little bit. I kind of like a nice sort of display box, especially if I ever don't display all of these and I just kind of want to put them on a shelf um, in their boxes, it's nice that the box looks nice with a really, really great photograph of the product, assuming that the product looks like this photo, which they usually do. So I'm going to put that aside for the moment. And then as you've seen me do before, I'm going to slip, uh, slip the tape, which is all along here um, at the seam of the styrofoam. And again, I always go through, through the same sort of spiel. Um, try to follow the line and be kind of gentle just because... Um, you don't want to get too far in with your knife. You don't want to, um, you don't want to cut the product inside. So I try to just be kind of just run it along, you know, find a place for it to pop. There we go. As I'm sure you just heard. And then just kind of gently go all the way around. There's this little, I don't know what you call it, sort of like this whole nubbin, <laughs> for lack of a better way of putting it, uh, which just alerts you to which way to put the box back together. Um, kind of like a little tab in the styrofoam. That's kind of the one pain. Some people do tear these off, but the problem is, is it takes styrofoam with it. Uh, the tape that they use, it'll always take some little bits of the styrofoam. And I don't like that. I don't really want it to do that. So um, I'm, you know, it's no mystery that I've opened the thing. I'm not going to try to hide that from anybody. So I don't see the reason why I would try to take the tape off. I think a nice clean slice is a little bit nicer than uh, taking styrofoam along with it. So almost there. I know this is the unexciting part of the video, but hope everybody's doing great. Um, hope you're all staying safe. And um, 
while I'm while I'm finishing this up, you know, just uh, I'm happy to be doing these for for Pete and Renovision. Please just go and sub to the channel and and uh, like, subscribe, do all the things, um, give the thumbs up if you like these videos. I'll keep doing these. No, I don't always open statues. I do open other things. It just happens to be that um, Gentle Giant and uh, this Legend series has really sort of bust after bust after bust after bust over the last sort of few weeks, I guess few months, but a few weeks apart. There is also an Asajj Ventress that comes out this week. So if you are into that one, I may be getting my hands on one of those. So there may be a video for that coming soon as well. So anyway, I have now slit all the tape and I'm opening this up and it never fails. It's always upside down. <laughs> Seems to not matter. I guess it must just be the way that, uh, that these things are set up. But um, so anyway, she comes this way in a baggie like she usually does and then when we pull her out there is no other pieces in this one just some silica things to keep it from having too much moisture in it and then when we take the bag off i can already tell this thing is absolutely incredible um, it is clearly meant to be rosario dawson there's no doubt about that um, and she is on a base that is a lightsaber which is pretty cool um, it's actually the base of her original lightsaber, her sort of split, I don't know what you'd call that, the forked ones, um, rather than sort of the, the sort of sleek kind of um, almost Asajj Ventress looking ones. Um, but again, as we come to realize now that the base is numbered, in fact, like the certificate as well as the box, as they always are, uh, the paint operations on this are gorgeous, especially the lips. They did like a two-tone sort of lip on here. You can see, if I get it real close there, see it's like dark around the edges and then um, it kind of lightens up inside. Um, tons of detail in the eyes, as you can plainly see. Uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous paint job. I mean, there's there's like four different colors in the, in the irises. It's really, really cool. Um, very accurate paint, clearly done by hand by the look of things. Um, man, that is unbelievable as I look at it closer. Wow. Um, obviously, Ahsoka's coloring is fairly simple. So as long as they kind of color within the lines, but I kind of like sometimes that there's there's a little bit of handmade quality to these. And I mean, this is this is one hefty quality item. It is just resin. They don't do these in uh, in porcelain like they used to do in the old days. Otherwise, they cost like a thousand dollars when they do that. And they're really fragile. And I don't like that very much either. There's not a whole lot of detail on the back to really be concerned about, although her um, her leku is separate. They, they did not join it, which is nice. So there's actually some space in there. Uh, so I would assume be careful. Yeah, there, there is actually space. I could fit a piece of paper in there, um, which is pretty nice. But um, really, really evenly done paint job. Um, you know, if you're, I mean, if you're a fan of the Rosario Dawson version of Ahsoka, this is definitely a bust you're going to want to get your hands on. But there you go. There's that. Um, the lightsaber is, as you can see, pretty basic. You can tell it's sort of the forked one by looking right up there. You can see where the fork would start up in the, that little area up in there. Um, but so it's, it's that version rather than sort of like the, the Count Dooku you look at ones, but just a great stance. If you like busts, this is about as nice as it's ever going to get. Um, can't wait to put this next to the one sixth scale one that I opened recently, as well as that statue, the one with her holding the owl, those three items together are going to look great. So, um, that's basically it. This is not a complicated piece. It's just a very pretty one. Looking forward to putting this on my shelf. These have started to really gain in value, by the way. The uh, original non-Beskar Mando is like a $350 bust now. And the little Grogu, the, I believe that's a one-seventh scale. Uh, no, I think that's a one-half scale as well. Um, that is, that's like a $200 bust now. So they're like four times retail or three times retail. So if these are things you could still get your hands on in some of your shops um, for the retail price, you might want to think about doing that. Um, cause they are going up rather quickly and they are limited. These, the legends ones, there's only a thousand of them. And, uh, I would say now would be the time that you might still find them in your shops. They're all relatively new enough that they may still be there. Um, but, uh, but again, you know, uh, they're not cheap, uh, retail on this is 175. Um, I think the Asajj Ventress, which also comes out this week is 120 or 125, something like that. They've all hovered around that sort of 
that mark, uh, somewhere around a hundred and a quarter and 175 bucks. So uh, if it's something that you really dig, these are really beautiful. Uh, I'm really happy to have the whole collection at the moment and I'm going to keep them coming. So thanks a lot very much for watching. And I hope you'll tune in next time when I do my next unboxing, which may be another bust. And if it isn't, then it'll be a toy. So thanks again. And uh, we'll see you soon.